sketchy music and then she came out and I was like, oh, that can happen with Bob. I am remaking this one because I have the CD in two. Because I fixed my mic and it sounds so much better than the first time. So, tracks.
here's a little turn of phrase, here's a little uh, comparison. Yeah, so it's got this sick thumping house beat. Um, just one, two, three, four kind of thing. It's a bop. It's such an adrenaline rush to start things off. And it just feels so raw. And it just feels like, you know, she's a 30-something woman who's come to terms with herself and who's become more wise. And I would say that's that's the vibe of this album. It's a wise. It's a pop album. So, you know, it's not going to be super profound, but I think so many people listen to pop. It's so common that um, it really can play that role of like speaking to people who are just going about their lives of things that everyone experiences, like love and yearning and depression, maybe drug use. that 
voice so much and just the way that she performs her words and this song really does you know there's a lot of female pop music out there that's like it's like cheap kind of pandering condescending empowerment and I think this is a good example of a, a simple concept of a pop song that just feels like triumphant but it feels like it really earns that sense of triumph and that you can really trust these two women um, to be telling you something um, rain on me you know like I'm gonna survive through the rain I love pop music for those cliche but somehow always fresh you know metaphors anyway um, moments I love in the pre-chorus when the second pre-chorus after Ariana Grande's first verse um, Ariana Grande sings her line and then Gaga comes back in with her pre-chorus and so Ariana's like I can feel it on my skin and then Gaga comes in like it's coming down on me it's so cool it just sounds so powerful um, in that pre-chorus and um, yeah the chorus with like the soaring falsetto sick just a very energizing, great song. Next song, Free Woman. This song is okay. This is another kind of empowerment jam. I'm not a woman, so maybe it'll speak to other people. I think I have shared experiences with women. But nonetheless, you know, it's just, it's got this like um, EDM synth. thing. It's a little bit too uh, generic sounding to me. Yeah, it's whatever to me. You know, the I heard the um, one of the leaked demos of the song and it was darker. It was like a dark, uh, like a house song with like kind of darker synths. Um, and I thought it sounded sick and I wish that kind of made less compromise with the radio and like gone for those dark traditional house sounds. Um, I think the biggest influence on this album is house. And also one of the producers on that song is Boy's Noise. If you've ever heard his music, it's um, it's amazing. The, the, the soundscapes he uses, like he uses these like muddy synths and this like crazy crackly bass, you know. And you'd think with him on some of these songs, you would hear some of that, you know, this is Gaga, she can do edgy sounds, she always, she always tells the press that she doesn't care, but she, I don't know if it's her label or what, but it seems that she has to make so many compromises to be marketable. Next song is, uh, Fun Tonight. Honestly, I don't like this song. I think it's the one, it's probably my least favorite, and it's maybe the one song on the album I can say for sure I just don't like. Um, it sounds like some kind of, I don't know, Kelly Clarkson kind of thing. I think that the melody of the verses is kind of phoned in. Um, the beat is kind of unremarkable, like it's like standard. It sounds like a, you know, like a, a song you'd hear in like a J.C. Penny, not something you want from Gaga or anyone, but you know what I mean. Not gonna say that she didn't mean these lyrics and that they aren't sad, but like in pop music, you can't believe every sad lyric you hear, so. After fun tonight, we get, uh, so next is Chromatica 2, which is a string interlude. This became a meme on TikTok and the internet in general. It's this string interlude and it's very, it's, it's kind of mischievous and it builds up to this da, 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 and then bam into 911 where it's this four on the floor like crunchy synth. Um, and, and it was used, you've seen it probably, it's used to videos where like something, some kind of bang, some kind of big change happens in the middle and then stuff 
because it's the only song on the album where Gaga isn't being loud, uh, where she's just confident, like, just straight, just carrying a tune for her pop song, and her vocals are processed to some kind of robotic, um, she does this cool falsetto in the pre-chorus, and the lyrics are, lyrics are just are clever and catchy like my biggest enemy is me papa 911 um it's it's just so sing-songy it's so catchy and perfect um and it's it's a little bit sinister um what i've always liked about gaga is that she really feels when she tries to do something sinister she's not faking it i don't think a lot of pop stars really know what they're doing when they try to be cheeky and apparently it's it's about like mental illness so and i think the ability to make something sinister something like clever out of suffering like that is really a sign of your power and triumph like 
croaking, singing like, I might be messed up, uh, but it doesn't sound anything like, like Blackpink. Anyway, my point is, it just doesn't come together very well, and it also uses this house beat by Maya Jane Coles that has been used in several pop songs in the past few years. Like, you just set me free, 
you know, this feeling of just, I'm broken, and then, you know, I don't know, um, it's got a, it's got a nice mellow, like, not, you know, nice airy, like, EDM thing to it, very innocent sounding, and then the last song on the album has been considered by many to be the best, certainly, I think, objectively, the best, most interesting song, Babylon, um, it is so gaga, she's like, the chorus is like her rapping, like strutted out, walk a mile, serve it ancient city style. Um, you know, it sounds very housey, definitely very vogue like, um, yeah, and it's got like this, uh, gospel chorus to it too, so it just sounds very, um, it's like she did Madonna elements of like a prayer, and then literally the, the flow from the bridge of Vogue. Um, yeah, and speaking of the Madonna thing, originally there was a leaked demo of this song that sampled this sick electronic song called Babble On, um, which I think is clever that she derived this name from it. And then add the bass line from Fame by David Bowie, and then obviously she jacks the flow from Vogue, and like, I, the song is about gossip and, you know, babble on, babble on, and I think it, it's partially a statement about the comparisons to Madonna and the accusations of, like, stealing from Madonna and copying Madonna, because she's like, okay, I'm gonna steal from three artists, and I'm gonna make something sick, and it's gonna be my own song. And, like, you know, the point that, like, house, disco, dance music has always been about copying, co copying and pasting and redoing and putting your own sauce on it. And I think that's, like, the, the egotistical statement of the song. Um, but it also rips. <laughs> if you're, like, not interested in this album, if you don't like Bob, don't like Gaga, still listen to Babylon. Yeah. Um, God, I cannot believe I just spent like 20 minutes reviewing that. I love doing this so much. Um, and I'm so happy that my whispers are sounding dope now that I fixed my microphone. I got good feedback on my longer ones, and it looks like I've been getting more views and longer view times. So, I'm chill with doing these long ones. And I know that a lot of people like them because it's like, you don't want to be switching, you know, you want something in the background to fall asleep to or study to or whatever. But let me know. I mean, do you want more 20, 15 minute ones? Do you want them even longer? Leave a comment. And please, let's talk about music, this album or otherwise, in the comments. I love to hear about new artists, I love to hear opinions on music, including and uh, conflicting ones.